Hello, my name is Tristan from Zebra Invest, and if you're anything like me, you're investing in property, or you're trying to find deals in an area that's going to make you a decent bang for your buck. Whether you're flipping, you're looking to get buy to lets, buy refurbish, refinance opportunities, or stuff that you could use possibly for service accommodation. So if you're looking to try and save your time, rather than fall all the way through right me with Zoopla on the market, trying to get all the background research and details from like the comparables, the sold items, all that data from land registry that you've got to deep dive into, looking at spare room to try and work out how your HMOs are going to work out, and you want it all in one place so you can just evaluate a deal really quickly, then I've got a great video for you today. I'm going to be running through a piece of software that I use day to day in my business called Property Data, and it's a fantastic piece of kit that makes this really easily. So if you're looking for a great return on your time, you want to find some great properties, do deep dive on the background research and find those opportunities to evaluate quite simply, then watch through to the end as I'm going to give you a 50% discount code, the only discount code available for property data online. And I'll also give you a 14 day free trial. The code will be in the comments box or in my little description just below this video. So, what is property data, I hear you ask? Uh, I briefly kind of touched on it there, but it jumps in it and it amalgamates and brings loads of data all into one place. So it's the idea is it's bringing everything to your fingertips to make it really easy for you to jump in, analyze a deal and work out if it's the right property or the right area to invest in. So what I want to do, and I hope you don't mind, I'm going to jump over and head over to property data. There's been a few updates since I did a video like this but hopefully you'll be able to follow along, get a good idea for this. And then if you do want to jump on for the free trial and have a go at seeing how it works, whether you can use it, then go for that. And I've also created a, what I call my secret source series, which is a whole list of videos that all goes through the whole process that you can use for property data and how to actually find deals and opportunities to invest in. I'll keep that to the end and let's jump into property data. So here we go. Um, you can just see in a little property I got an agent just called me about a minute ago. So we're just onto the property data website and you'll see here it's got a few main things that you can look at. As I briefly kind of touched on, you've got the ability to jump in, research, source and evaluate opportunities. And sometimes mixing some of this data together can allow you to find opportunities where you've got investors or vendors who are quite motivated and want to sell on their deals. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head on uh, quickly just show you the pricing of it. It's quite fairly easy to use. Personally, I'm on the unlimited plan, um, and that's just because I like jumping in and finding as many opportunities and properties as I possibly can without running out. Um, if you're going to just jump in and get started, the standard or the pro are probably going to be best for you to use because otherwise you're going to quickly run out of your credits when searching. So when you log in, it's going to just come up with a little, usually it comes up with a dashboard, and if you just click into your saved area, you can find any of the areas that you've been looking to research, evaluate or find any information on. So if I just head over to research, here you can see it comes up with a few different options to be able to look through. So local data, the idea here is that you can set up your areas, draw an area, find any information, any properties in your area and go through detailed statistics to be able to identify an opportunity. So to give you an idea here, and I'll just quickly jump through a few of these. I'll just click my local data. And here, when you jump into it and it loads up, it just pulls all the data in your area. And it's quite good because it'll give you a spread of all the rough values for, say, a studio flat, a one bedroom, a two bedroom, um, three bedroom, four bedroom. So you can roughly see where they sit. This for me is set across my whole town. So I know that the prices will vary in different areas but it's quite a neat way to be able to look at it. Um, and then what you can also do, you can look at the sold data versus the asking. So say for example, we can see here, the average asking price of a two bed is 228,000. The interesting bit is you can now actually see what properties have sold for. So when you look at it, uh, if we go back to sold prices by bedrooms, then you can see here, but the average price of it actually selling is 202,000. So there's a bit of a discrepancy and a difference there from what people are asking to what things are actually going through at. And that might help you understand what kind of discount you might be able to get when you come to negotiating a price in your area. The other bit you can do here as well is you can look at what price um, properties are selling for on average. 
by pound per square foot in your area. So this then means that you can roughly think, well, if I've got property in my area and I know it's a thousand square feet, then if I turn it a thousand square feet times by 276, we know it's worth 276,000 pounds per square foot. So the other bit, that's a simple little bit just to jump in there as I was going through. And you've got postcode data. Now, this little bit of data is fantastic. You can look across the whole country, all the different individual postcodes for the whole, whole of England to be able to work out where it's going to be the best place for you to want to buy. So you can turn around and say, here, what we can do is we can sort it by, say, for example, we want somewhere where we're going to be getting the best average yield. So we can do that and we turn and say, look, here we go. The best yield in the country is in, say, BD1. We see the average yield there is 12%. You can also have a look and you can see roughly how much of that is social rent to local housing authority. You can quickly click on this little button and you can see the average house price in the area. And you can see, look, in, you know, in the last few years, they've slowly been on the increase. Um, and then you can also take a look at it. Uh, and you can see what the average rents are and things going on in that area. So that, there you go, that's quite a neat little piece of kit to be able to look at. If you're then looking through, you can hunt down and through here to identify other areas. I've got another great video on this in my secret um, source series that jumps into exactly how you can filter down and find a really good place to invest in. Um, you can go down and you can find news and data that's current and late, you know, current news and information. And this could be good for you being able to kind of build an idea or a portfolio if you're writing a business case or your business plan or what you're going to be entering into the market. And you can see, you know, where people are, for example, this is quite an interesting piece of news. First time buyers defer buyer, buying. So there's going to be more stress and more effort put on the rental market. And that's quite a good little snippet of information. I wouldn't read, let, have read listing agent today before, but that's quite a good snippet of information if you're looking to go out and buy properties that are going to suit those type of renters. Um, and then you can see, look, you know, house prices are still on the way up, and whilst the rest of the news is kind of promoting and saying, and we're starting to get a bit of a slump, you can see, you know, where it's going. And there's loads of information here um, that you can, you know, kind of jump in and get a good idea of what's going on. Again, you've got hotspots for where the best place to invest is, browser extension with this is rather good i'll show you if you head over to right move and you ever look at a property and when you've got this uh, little piece of when you've got the little plug in installed here this always pops up on the right hand side and it'll tell you roughly how much properties are worth in the area so this one is possibly below the market value 194 and someone's paying 160 for it what rent you can get the growth in the area and so that's a great little um, piece of kit that you get there in the research pack, how much it's going to cost to build in that area, council tax, so you know what, what kind of area is going to cost. The great bit is as well, once you then jump into sourcing, and I'm, I'm going to click on more categories here, you can see everything you can do here. I'll open up one to give you a brief idea of what you can do as well. But you can find all different reasons why someone might be selling a property, uh, what kind of deals they've got going on, investment portfolios might bring up so multiple properties all being sold together, stuff where sales have just fallen through. And somewhere where they've got a sale fallen through, they might be more likely and more inclined to want to sell that property quickly. You've got stuff where you can just buy properties. If you're just looking for auction properties on right Move and Zoopla, it's a little bit of a struggle to kind of limit those down. You want stuff that's short leases, slow to sell. And it's just giving you all ways that you can deep dive in and target properties. So say, for example, that we've got this one, uh, properties back on the market, and that's where someone just has a sale for us. You can set it just to your limited area or anything around the area, and you can find any properties where they've fallen out of bed. And this is quite neat. When you click on the property, or head over to whether it's right music or on the market, the little property data comes up on the right-hand side. But the bit that's quite good here, you can see what the price it was on for. You can see all those little dots there, just about. And then you can see on April 1st, 2022, they got a sale agreed. And then, and then it then came back on market on July 21st. So the sale fell through, and then they just reduced the price five days later to 330. I've also got another little app here as well, which is Property Tracker. And then you can then see what's been going on and why that might be of interest. 
And then you might sit there and think, well, why on earth was anyone interested in that? That's probably my thought. But, uh, but you might see there's a, a little, little development opportunity or an angle there. But it's quite a good way of being able to pick them up. And then what we could do is say, for example, look, let's just open up another one here that's uh, a little bit more, a little easier to probably value. So say for example, we've got this property in Bungie that's come back on the market. We can turn around and look, we've got this property here, 90,000 pounds, it's a two bedroom flat, 55 square meters. So what we can do now is if we've got the evaluated section, we can do a few bits here. So with the plot map, you can jump in and you can kind of look at the area. So let me give you a quick idea for that. We can just head on there. And you can see all the property, all the information in the area, which properties are listed. You can jump in how much properties are worth in the pound per square foot, you know, what the flood risks are like, everything else around in the area as well. And then if you know the address for your property, you can just click on it and then you can find out, look, for example, like this one on the corner, you can find out who the freeholder is, who owns the block or the building. Um, and you can click as well, you can find out all this information is coming through from land registry as well, which makes it very interesting. An interesting unit to use. This little tool I quite like here is the valuation tool. So we've got a flat here. We just had this two bedroom bungalow. What I'm going to do here is uh, put them side by side. So we've got this little postcode. We've got the postcode from earlier. We know it's a flat. It was saying that it's 592 square feet. We've got two bedrooms. It's said there's one bathroom. Um, let's have a look at the photos. I'm going to say that's quite nice, quite good condition. So let's just turn around and say that is uh, a high quality. And then we've got, is there anything else on here that's telling us about it? I don't think it's got any parking. So we'll say no parking. And then we just click value property. And so you can really see how easy this piece of software makes it for you when you're trying to identify value software and save your time. So here you go, look, that's turn around and say that this property is on the market for 90,000 pounds could be worth £140,000. You might want to do a little bit more detail, but this is all basing it on properties that are sold in the in the area, what they're all selling for in the local area. Uh, and then you can sit down and deep dive and look, say, look, there you go, 150. And so actually, you know, that's quite a good, that could be quite a good buy. And that means that, you know, rather than spending all that time digging into it, trying to work out all the background data, you've got that all right there and ready to go. So I told you at the very beginning, I was going to give you a discount code. Uh, so if you want to jump on a free trial and have a look at it and use it. So I'm just going to get that for you. So there you go. If you'd like to go try our property data, as you can see, I think it's a great piece of kit. And I'm hopefully you can see just how much um, time that can save you, how valuable it could, be, it, will, it could be for finding opportunities. If you do want to go get over there and have a go, um, the first 14 days are free. Um, then you'll get 50% off your first month. So that's the equivalent of a month for free, really. So you head over to Cutley and you see my link there. I'll put it in the description below for slash property data with a capital P and a capital D. That will then get your discount. You'll be able to get in there and get using the software. Um, then what I've got as well is I'll just show you my YouTube channel. You would have already been, if you're on YouTube now watching this, you'll be able to see this. If you jump on and subscribe to my channel, you will you should be able to find it really useful. So let's just bring me in. So here you go. This is this is my YouTube channel. You can find on here loads of information and properties and projects that I've done. You can see that I'm an active investor, and you'll even be able to see one or two properties that I found through property data that have been repossessed and how I've managed to do it. We've then got the secret source series here that runs through anything from, um, when you come down to the bottom here, you'll be able to see that how we can use short lease flats, finding new land development opportunities, finding plots, how to get, you know, how to buy and build um, UK property portfolios with no money left in. And this is a really good way for jumping in, understanding exactly how you can actually use property data to find investment opportunities and go out there and get the most out of your subscription. Hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you'll give us a thumbs up on this and a like the video. If you've got any comments or any questions about this, drop them in the below. Um, hopefully you subscribe, jump into that series and start finding opportunities soon. Good luck.